Hi there and welcome to our next video on gravitational potential energy. This is a continuation from our last video, but in this video we're going to be looking at some exam questions. So let's get started. Our first exam question states, the diagram shows a helicopter being used to rescue a person from the sea. The mass of the rescued person is 72 kilograms. Use the equation in the box to calculate the weight of the rescued person. So over here we're given the equation for gravitational potential energy. We're given the weight equals mass multiplied the gravitational field strength. And we're given that the gravitational field strength is 10 newtons per kg. Show clearly how you work out your answer. So this is a simple question. We have uh, we need to find out the weight and we have the mass 72 kilograms which is in the correct units 72 multiplied by the gravitational field strength which is 10 newtons per kg so we multiply this by 10 and we get that our answer is going to be 720 newtons so we can just write that over here and that will give us two marks one for working out and one for the correct answer next question to lift the person up to the helicopter the electric motor transformed 21,600 joules of energy usefully use a form of energy from the box to complete the following sentence so we're given that the energy is transferred usefully so it's transferred in a way that will help it the electric motor transforms uh, transforms electrical energy to kinetic energy so from one store to the other the kinetic energy is then transformed into useful something energy so the helicopter we have the helicopter up here and this is lifting the person up so we have the ground here and we have the person standing on the ground now the helicopter is lifting the person upwards because the helicopter is lifting the person upwards its gravitational potential energy is going to increase and this is useful heat energy is something that is released as well as sound energy these are energy which is wasted so gravitational potential energy and that will give us one mark next question write down the equation which links gravitational field strength gravitational potential energy height and mass so this is just a simple question asking you to write down the equation so we have the gravitational potential energy and that is equal to uh, the mass multiplied by the gravitational field strength uh, field strength multiplied by the height and a way that I always remember this is m g h and that is the shortened version of the equation m for mass g for gravitational field strength and h for height it just always helps me remember it and the correct answer will give you one mark next question the miners working in a salt mine use smooth wooden slides to move quickly from one level to another a miner of mass 90 kilograms travels down the slide you can see this person over here and he is traveling downwards calculate the change in gravitational potential energy of the miner when he moves 15 meters vertically downwards and we're given the gravitational field strength as 10 newtons per kg show clearly how you work out your answer and this question is worth two marks so we, we know the equation for gravitational potential energy which is mass multiplied by the gravitational field strength multiplied by the height and now the mass of the person is the minor is 90 kilograms which is in the correct units multiplied 
by the gravitational field strength, which is 10 newtons per kg, multiplied by the height. Over here, we're given the height, which is a vertical drop 15 meters. So we can multiply it by 15. And now we've got the equation over here, 90 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 15. All we need to do is type this into the calculator, 90 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 15. And the answer it will give us is 1000, no sorry, 13,500 joules. If we were to convert it to kilojoules, it would be 13.5 kilojoules. And that will give you two marks, one for your working out and one for the correct answer. Next question, a rock climber of mass 90 kilograms is climbing a boulder. Calculate the change in gravitational potential energy of the climber when he moves 25 meters vertically downwards and the gravitational field strength we're given is 10 newtons per kg. Show clearly how you work out your answer and this again is two marks. So the equation is mass multiplied by the gravitational field strength multiplied by the height. Mass is 90 kilograms multiplied by the gravitational field strength 10 newtons per kg multiplied by the height which is 25 meters. They're all in the correct units so we just have to input this equation into the calculator which would give us 90 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 25 it would give us an answer of 22,000 22,500 joules writing this in kilojoules it would be 22.5 kilojoules one mark for the working out and one mark for the correct answer will give you the full two marks. Our final question, a crane raises a concrete block vertically from 10 meters to 45 meters. The mass of the concrete block is 800 kilograms. Calculate the change in gravitational potential energy for the roller coaster. State the unit and the gravitational field strength is 9.8 newtons per kg. So, if we write the equation, we have the mass multiplied by the gravitational field strength multiplied by the height. Where is the mass? The mass of the concrete block is 800 kilograms, and that's in the correct unit, so we can write 800 multiplied by the gravitational field strength we're given over here, 9.8 9.8 and it's in the correct units as well multiplied by the height now the height is in the correct units which is in meters however we need to work out the difference between the height we know that the crane raises the concrete block vertically so this way and it moves it from 10 meters so let's pretend this over here is the ground the block is already in the air and the crane moves it more up and now the block is at 45 meters over here the difference is between this this area that has it that it has been raised so all we need to do is 45 minus 10 this will give us 35 and that's the difference in height so we can just multiply it by 35. Now we've got the equation over here. We can just type that into our calculator. 800 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by 35. The answer to this could be 274,400. joules however we can convert this to kilojoules which would give us 274.4 uh, and that will give us four marks 
one for the working out and over here we need to do some calculations 45 subtract 10 and then we need to convert the answer into kilojoules and that will give us four marks and that is it for this video thanks for watching i hope you liked it and one last thing please subscribe hit the like button and the notification bell